All right, so anyway, our 50-year-old tub was not draining very well. And uh, so what I had to do was pull out the drain stop, which really had a hair catcher in there that was all clogged up, and fix it. As you can see, I was shoving this thing in there trying to see if I could clear the hair that way, but that didn't work. So I ended up having to pull that whole drain stop out. And I'm going to show you how to pull it out, how to rehab it, how to clean it up, how to drill out some broken screws, and how to put that thing back on and have it working as good as new. If you notice, this plate is listing to the right. It's because one of the screws is already broken off. And that caused the, uh, uh, the uh, hair catcher or uh, the mechanism to drop lower into the outflow. Now here I'm trying to screw, turn this screw, but it's not turning. So I decided to try to take this screw off of the uh, handle that you know lifts and lowers that uh, hair catch or your stopper. And um, better put that there so I don't lose the screw in it. Uh, and uh, uh, that really didn't help me at all. It did give me a little bit more access to that other screw. But when I got on it, um, the thing was in there so tight. See, that's a good thing I put it there, right? <laughs> uh, set it over here so I don't lose it. And then when I pulled that off, you can see it's really dirty. i got to clean that thing, so I'm going to set it up there. And uh, then I'm going to get back on that screw. And what happened is uh, I put a lot of uh, elbow grease into it, and guess what? I broke it off. All right, so you can see there's the crack screw. It's got some hair on it. Right there is what it looks like. Throw it down there. And now we've got to pull that face plate off and take a look at what we got inside there. Both of these brass screws that were probably 60 years old were broken off inside of those two little uh, compartments there. And I'm going to have to drill those out. And um, But first I've got to figure out how the hell to get this thing out of there. <laughs> So anyway, I went ahead and just screwed that uh, thing back on top of there and then just kind of pulled it out. I just went really slow and it just kind of came right out. And you can see it's that thing's filled with, uh, I mean, it's just completely clogged with hair. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons that the drain wasn't, wasn't uh, draining because that thing was down in that little spigot blocking the water from going through. So now I just got to rebuild this whole thing, drill those holes out, clean that thing up, get the hair out of it. And, um, and then rehab it and put it back in. So before I do that, i got to make sure that that was the main cause of the clog for this uh, tub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to create a vacuum, and I'm going to try to plunge this out. And if I can get that water to drain through there properly, then I know that that was our cause, and that's the only thing that we really have to fix. So anyway, this plunger wasn't working well, so i got to get a different one. i got this little smaller one. And I used my hand this time to create that vacuum because basically if you plunge it down, it just cut, would just come out of there. So you got to get it closed off by sealing it with your hand or, you know, something that will keep it uh, from, uh, you know, the air coming out. And it will push that water down. So I did that and I plunged it really hard and, with that little plunger and um, bam, thing drained. Well, it's draining. i got to drill these, these out. I'm going to put that same collar back on. And I guess I could get a new one, but I, this is the only one that's going to fit with it. So I'm going to try to take this apart, fix it, and, and then put it back in there. So I took it outside and used the hose to get the big chunks off. And there was a little bit of hair left. I got to get a razor blade or scissors to cut that off. Okay, so anyway, let's get this stuff cut. Bam, that was in there. So I'm going to just get a little bit of a, a barkeeper's friend in there. I don't know if it's good to get on your skin, but <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, works good. Clean it off and give it a look. All right, it's better, huh? Looks pretty shiny. That thing is over 70 years old. This thing's over 70, I mean, over 50 years old, but it looks good enough. I think we can use it. So we're going to try to rehab this bad boy. All right, so anyway, I'm just going to take it apart and really clean it good. I want to make sure I don't drop, I took it out of the sink because I don't want to drop the screw down the drain. I mean, I could get it out of there. I'm going to set it over here. And then we're just going to take that off of there and we're just going to clean this thing really good. This thing needs to be cleaned too, so I'm going to do it, clean all this, and then I'll show you after I get done. So I've got the shaft off there, I'm just kind of cleaning it right around the edges to really get a good clean on it. 
So there's our finished product. Look how shiny it is. Now we just got to put it back together and stick it back in. So we had to uh, drill out those um, other screws that were broken off in there. So we first started with a very small bit just to get a hole started and we did it on both sides. And then we went to a little bit larger bit and we did the same thing. And if you look, you're going to see that the uh, the actually the brass uh, that these screws are made out of are start, is starting to come out of there as we push that through there. Then we put another bigger bit in and uh, kept on going, drilling through it. And uh, this took like, I would say, maybe 45 minutes. And we finally got to a very large bit, uh, this one here. And you're going to have to experiment with it when you do it because you don't know. So we're getting it all the way through, as you can see there. And um, it's uh, the screw is actually breaking up inside there. And then you can just take a small screwdriver and get the chunks out. And actually, the threads were still in there. So I bought uh, some uh, one quarter 20s, which were the exact same thread and about three quarter length from uh, Lowe's. And you're going to see in a minute, we're going to go ahead and put them in there. And they fit in there perfect. And so we're going to be able to put that um, that uh, drain stop back in there. It's not really a drain stop. It's actually a hair catcher. The uh, metal shavings are sharp and they can get stuck in your foot or your hand. So I sucked them up with my uh, Dyson vacuum cleaner. And then we went ahead and uh, checked to see if the screws fit in there. And they did. They worked great. And so both of the screws got in on both sides and the threads were not compromised and they screwed in really well. So if you're doing this, make sure you put your stop there just in case you drop one of the screws because it'll bounce down in there and you end up losing a screw down your drain. So that's not good. So anyway, we put that little white thing there to, to catch anything that we drop. The uh, screws fit good and we backed them out and now we're ready to go ahead and put the drain stop back. All right, so before I put it in there, I just got one thing I got to do. I've got to get this little pin stuck inside there that kind of locks that uh, that um, handle to that shaft so that it will work properly once you put it inside of the pipe. And you can see how it turns it like that. And that gives it, that either pulls it up or pushes it down. This is the top and at the bottom of it is the uh, overflow. So you got to get that side up when you screw it in. You gotta make sure this doesn't get grimunched. So we gotta kind of slide it in like that. And then it's just gonna we're just gonna fish it down there slowly but surely. Just like that. And then we're gonna set it on there. And this has to come up here on this side, like that. And now we just got to get our screws in. Very simple. I might have to pull it back a little bit. To look and see where my screw hole is. There it is right there. And then you don't want to cross thread it. You want it to be thread in there, right? So there we go. There we go. Now, we're, now it's good. So I'm not going to screw it all the way in until I get this side on. Oops. So this has got to go. So I got to loosen this a little bit so we can get this side up. There we go. Now, I can get this in there. Just gotta find the hole. Get it started. There we go. Now we're good. Just make sure that you don't. Bam. Now this side. And now it works. Good. That's what we needed. Bam. All right. So now we've got our little uh, hair catch in there. And this looks a hundred times better. Cleaned it up. Always put that thing there before you start working on this. And then this has been all redone. So 
So all those were redone, put a new cartridge in there, new head here, and fix that thing. So this 50-year-old uh, <laughs> tub should be working good now. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff.